start talking about specific program. Dr. Lucas, we're going to start with you. You top lined a lot of different things that are going on over at the department. We'd like you to focus on one program that you've been able to get over the fence, so to speak, and uh, highlight that for the community here. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, Luke, over the last several years, uh, we've been committed uh, in investing in the optimization of access to resources in the various locations uh, by improving and optimizing our network resources, which has provided the necessary foundation uh, for optimizing our access to the resources in the hybrid compute environment that I mentioned previously, which includes commercial cloud service provider environments. Uh, you know, Luke, we, we implemented the DHS cloud access point on the East Coast uh, to provide direct high-speed fiber network access to cloud service providers, uh, virtually a zero hop solution. Uh, and we're currently implementing a second cloud access point on the West Coast uh, to improve redundancy and availability for uh, all of the, the critical missions that the Department of Homeland uh, Security supports for the taxpayer uh, with an estimated completion during uh, the summer of this year. You know, look, this, uh, this work optimizes our enterprise network by providing direct access at the edge of our wide area network, uh, eliminating additional network latency, you, you previously stated, uh, thus improving our access and user experience uh, and the performance of applications and systems uh, in the cloud environments. You know, with, uh, within the network architecture, we're, we're implementing modern software-defined network systems uh, that are virtualized, uh, reducing the physical footprint uh, of previous uh, hardware and providing elasticity to add and reduce network functions for customers as needed. Uh, we're also leveraging uh, network function virtualization as a part of the implementation that uh, has allowed us to minimize the physical footprint in co-location facility, co -location facilities, thus reducing hosting costs uh, while increasing functionality, throughput, and overall capacity of the network systems. Uh, additionally, uh, we've also migrated to a cloud-based VPN system uh, that incorporates the functionality of the trusted internet connection requirements uh, and allows for direct internet access from field locations, uh, while also allowing for internal network access without the risk of DDoS attacks affecting the systems. Uh, the, this modernized network system architecture uh, is being deployed with zero trust and micro segmentation in mind, uh, and that provides a more secure network architecture. Uh, uh, next, we've also deployed a cloud native zero trust access service loop uh, in AWS and Azure GovCloud environments uh, that's providing fast and secure app to app and app to internet connections across multi and hybrid cloud environments uh, that allows applications to use the service locally uh, instead of using our network infrastructure when it's, uh, when it's needed. Uh, and then finally, uh, we're constantly researching uh, the modern network solutions to improve access, minimize latency, uh, and improve security for our critical applications and systems we have in the cloud. 